Uh, once again, welcome to the African Sports Network Journal. This is Awasun Jr. I'm here live at the Boston Marathon uh, here in Boston, the wonderful state of Massachusetts. Uh, right standing right beside me, I have the wonderful pleasure of meeting quite a unique gentleman, I must say, uh, by the name of Mr. Ryan Hall. Uh, he ran the Boston Marathon today and came out quite quite, quite good. I'm saying, I promise you, America, this is a gentleman you guys need to meet and get to know. He's also a wonderful friend to Africa. He's been to Zambia. He's been doing philanthropy work, routine vision, invisible children. He spoke very positively today in Africa. Mr. Ryan, welcome to the African Sports Network yeah. Journal. Thank you for having me. It's quite a pleasure to have you here with us at the African Sports Network Journal. How was your day today? I mean, you came third, but in our, in our eyes, it looks like you came first. Yeah. I mean, you had the push of every American behind you. Not only Americans, but everybody. Everybody that we spoke to applaud your effort and the things that you did today here. Yeah. Could you tell them a little bit about it, about your race and your experience here today? Yeah, it was a great experience, you know, like, just running here in Boston, the crowd was really into it, and they were pushing me along the whole way. And, uh, yeah, it was just fun to get out there and run with a whole bunch of uh, great African runners and, and uh, you know, get to push each other along a little bit. You made a point that was so impressive during your press conference. You mentioned something about God that spiritually God gave you the power and that you even quote in the Bible that the experience of the, the strength of the running of uh, what's his name? Elijah. Elijah. That yeah. you needed that experience. Could you tell a little bit to our audience about your religious experience and what how you've been experienced today and how it has helped you all through your life and your career and what you're doing today? Yeah, like my faith, you know, affects every part of, of, of what I do. And so when I'm out there running, I just want to experience God. That's the whole point of, of my running. So uh, out there today when it got really tough, I was just praying like, Lord, fill me with your spirit. Fill me with the spirit of Elijah, you know, like that was the same spirit that allowed him to beat a chariot, chariot into uh, Jezreel. So. Um, it's just a, a huge part of who I am, and um, and my it, it affects my heart to where I want to help people, and which is why my wife and I have got involved with uh, Team World Vision and World Vision and Invisible Children, and gone over to Africa and just see how we can help out. You know, like we're surrounded by African runners, and uh, so I feel like. A, a connection with them and I know that there's need over there and so if we can do anything to help out we're going to do our best to do that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan is not just a runner, he's a very wonderful person with a generous heart. Uh, his experience started quite in Zambia where he also trained out there with his wife and he's also been involved with uh, Invisible Children where he's looking out for the African children. He's inviting a lot of people out here at the Boston Marathon to check out philanthropies that they can help. He also raised a very good question, a very, very important point about the health issues that are related to weight loss and also nutrition. He said something very important about the fact that in Africa, the health habit is very more important. It's an example to copy. And being a champion that he is today, with the experience that he had at the Boston Marathon, I mean at the London Marathon, and today at the Boston Marathon, Ryan, do you see yourself as a symbolic person that will encourage other young Americans, other young kids, to follow your example, to eat healthy, run, but at the same time be disciplined and God-fearing just as you are? I hope so. You know, like I was really grateful to have people to look up to who were runners when I was little. You know, Jim Ryan was a huge hero of mine. Um, Eric Little was another huge hero. I've seen Chariots of Fire a million times. So I was grateful to have those guys to look up to, and I hope that I can, you know, be that guy to, to kids in Africa or the U.S. and um, and just, just help them live life to the fullest. That's the whole goal of being here. Before I let you go, Ryan, you came out with a baseball. Very symbolic. Ah, he still has a baseball right see, there. Ball. Folks, Africa, look at You see, you came out with a baseball. It's symbolic. What was, what was that gesture all about? What was that? Because symbolically, as a strong person, you know, baseball is a very disciplined sport. It takes a lot of heart to play baseball. So too does running. So is there anything you do with baseball? Are you involved with anything with baseball? Or could you tell us a little bit? You know what? Uh, you know what was all that about? With the yeah, thing? I always wanted to be a professional baseball player, and I got the opportunity to throw out a first pitch here at Fenway Park, which was really neat. It was like a dream come true, you know. So I, the baseball just represents dreams come true. Not always maybe how you pictured it or how you'd hoped, but they always, you know, God's good all the time, and and uh, dreams do come true. Ryan, I thank you so much for your time. We wish you the best in all your endeavors. It's quite a wonderful experience. You're a wonderful gentleman. America, it's just going to be a matter of time before 
You're going to see George, I mean, you're going to see Ryan in New York City, or possibly in London again or in Germany again. He's quite an experienced gentleman for all the younger folks. He's quite a role model for all the younger folks, all the other people that are running to get to know him and learn about his experience. Please get involved in Team Vision, Invisible Children. Do something to help your community, whether you're an athlete or a baseball player or just a regular person. But fear God first and God will help you be a successful man. Ryan standing right next to me here is quite an example. We thank you so much and we look forward to speaking to you soon at the African Sports Network Journal. Thank you so much for coming, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Thank you.